ladies and gentlemen, Pastor Nasty with you once again, here to spread the eternal word of God. You know, I hear a lot of talk these days about global warming. Global warming. Global warming. That ain't nothing compared to the fires of hell, ladies and gentlemen. And you can tell that to your kids. All eight of my children, I tell them every night. All in parallel, I got them stacked up like little cockroach eggs. Hell is a real place, and sure as sugar, you're going there if you don't listen to the Word of God. Well, now I want to talk to you about the concept of science. The last time I attended a science class, I was asleep before the fifth word came out of the teacher's mouth. Is that because science is hard, difficult to grasp? No! It's because it's not the Word of God! How many times do I have to tell you these things? <laughs> I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I got a bit carried away there. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It reminds me of a story I heard the other day. This, uh, I can barely bring myself to say it, atheist walked into my church the other day and said, Are you aware that you have your windows open and your air conditioning blaring? Have you no environmental sensitivity? I said, Environmental sensitivity? Who on God's brown earth do you think you are? Now, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk to you about the concept of thinking. If you think that you can think too much or too little, you're already thinking too much. My advice is to sit back, circumnavigate that little intellect thing you got going on there, and listen to the Word of God. If you listen to the Word of God, you won't have to think anymore. Pastor Nasty here, with a small favor to ask each and every one of you, it should go without saying that keeping this show going, it ain't, it ain't done for free, ladies and gentlemen. There are costs involved, and I'm not just talking about the costs involved with, with God. I'm talking about the costs of putting on my own podcast. Now, if you haven't tithed already, I'm suggesting a modest compromise of perhaps 25% of your income to the Pastor Nasty Foundational Foundation. Details can be found at my website. I don't think it's unreasonable to ask this. My wife tithes 75% of her income to my calls. Praise God, ladies and gentlemen. I'm quaking just saying it, but that ain't my religion at all. No, I am a Baptist. Been Baptist since the day I was baptized. And I have to tell you, it feels great. Every day I wake up and I give myself a baptism in the shower. Just to make sure. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make it very clear to you. If you like the idea of roasting in hell for all eternity and then some more... Well, you can just go off and be some free-thinking, liberal, open-minded, skeptical, kind of anti-theistical kind of, you know, little grub there. Pastor Nasty, back with you once again, ladies and gentlemen, here to talk about the Word of God.